Hey, I actually meant to make this video a month ago, but I forgot to write it down as a video topic, and I just remembered it. And the reason for that is my mind is always thinking about 10,000 things at once, literally. It's thinking about ancient Greek philosophy, and it's thinking about photography, and metaphysics, and field theory, and so it's a mess up there. <laughs> um, lightning, specifically. And I used to be a ham radio operator. By the way, Kilo Delta 4, Pop Whiskey Juliet, KD4, BWJ. I don't do ham radio anymore, but here's an interesting fact. And it's uh, like an eye roller amongst uh, ham radio operators and also people that maintain like uh, broadcast TV stations and whatnot. Now, of course, you can do a lot with incredibly expensive uh, lightning arresters. As so far as grounding them, it just takes a heap of expensive copper, but you still have serious equipment damage. I actually used to know a couple of people that worked at some local TV stations, and it's a extremely well-known fact. I used to go all the hamventions and had a lot of expensive ham radio gear, and the back of my house was like an antenna farm. If you're a ham radio operator, you know what an antenna farm is. It just, it looks like, damn, you know, what's that guy trying to do? Is he trying to contact men on Mars? It'd just be dipole antennas and Yagi antennas, and so that's what an antenna farm is. The funny thing is, like, people uh, like me or even worse that had a lot of really expensive ham gear, what they do is they buy lightning arresters, i.e. surge protectors. Keyword here being the surge. I'm going to tell you a secret of field theory and lightning because, um, and I made a video about this recently, people think a lightning is electricity. Well, it's effing not electricity. It is electrostatic, i.e. dielectric. Okay, electrostatic it is not electrical. Sure it is, everybody knows lightning is electricity. No, it's not. Lightning is not electricity. It is specifically ultra, ultra powerful electrostatics. And the ham radio operators that would invest an enormous amount of time and money into their equipment, they would buy these really, really, really expensive lightning arresters. So like when they left the house to get groceries and when they took a vacation, um, they weren't worried about their equipment being destroyed uh, from a lightning strike because, of course, they would have uh, this uh, really good gain, ultra-thick coax leading from their antenna to the back of their house and feeding into the radio and one little zappa, boom! You'd have, like, within one one billionth of a second, actually less than that, a, an enormous pile of equipment destroyed, obliterated. And uh, it's an ongoing joke. It has been for decades and decades that no matter how good you have uh, grounding, even including a polyphase grounding, which is like the premium, the creme de la creme for lightning grounding, and tons of copper grounding, uh, you just sink a ton of money into it. If you get a good lightning strike, it's a bam! You know, it'll destroy an enormous pile of super expensive equipment, especially when you're talking about like a broadcast radio station you could ask people that run broadcast radios like you had a lightning strike yeah and of course they all have and they're mandated by their insurance companies to have really really expensive ultra professional lightning arresters i.e surge protectors but i'm going to tell you the secret here's the secret and no one has ever made a video on this okay the keyword here is surge now surge is related to electrical with a known frequency and amplitude Okay, now take care of a lot of that, but you see, dielectrics or electrostatics are in counter space. They do not surge like a wave, you know, like what a, a wave surges. Waves come in once in a while. Like if you sit on the beach, you notice it'll be like a bunch of waves, and all of a sudden there'll be a huge wave. That's, that's like a surge, right? Or like when the high tide comes in, the waves start to surge inwards. Electrostatics or dielectrics do not surge. Literally when the lightning hits an antenna or hits one of your guy wires or uh, your coax, God forbid, and of course it gets sent up a stepped leader. You should ever know what a stepped leader is. A lot of people think that lightning strikes uh, from the sky down. Actually, that's only partially true. Um, very, very often, I forget what the percentage is, incredibly high, it actually uh, sends up a stepped leader or a streamer. You can look that up, lightning streamer. You could actually see that the uh, positive leader is actually being, uh, in, in high-speed photography, you can capture this. Lightning does not surge because, wait for it, it's not electrical. This is why every, and you could ask any ham radio operator, and I'm sure some ham radio operator 
uh, we'll leave a comment below, that uh, when a lightning storm develops, you need to unhook your crap. I mean, completely unhook it. All the best lightning arresting equipment in the world will not protect your gear. And the reason for that is lightning or electrostatics is in counter space. That means it does not surge. In other words, for that equipment to kick in takes an infinitely long period. It's kind of like putting on a bulletproof vest after you've already been shot. Someone is continuously shooting you, for example, using an analogy, and like halfway through being shot to death, in the case of the equipment, then you decide to put your bulletproof vest on. You see, dielectrics are electrostatics, i.e. lightning, which is not electrical, it is electrostatic, it's dielectric. It doesn't surge. This is why really, really expensive surge protectors don't really work. Even the really, really expensive ones use at broadcast TV stations and the expensive ones like the polyphase units that are bought by ham radio. This is gonna protect my ham radio gear. And they take a vacation and they leave their equipment hooked up and they come back and uh, it's like, well, I know there's a storm last week when I was on vacation, but I have a, a lightning surge protector and it cost me $3,000. is not they get home and there's a lot of stories out there by, uh, like this you can read. And oh my God, all my equipment's destroyed. <laughs> this lightning equipment is garbage. It's actually not garbage. Fundamentally, people don't realize that, that all the grounding in the world will help a lot, won't stop an electrostatic pulse which is in, wait for it, counter space. Because it is literally in zero time destroying the equipment before a manifestation is registered to stop that surge, even if it is incredibly well grounding. You have all the copper grounding rods buried deep into the earth and all the copper mesh and a poly polyphase surge protection uh, equipment system set up for a lightning protection of your equipment. But... It doesn't work. And this isn't my opinion. This is the the grand mystery. And the reason it's a mystery is because everybody thinks lightning is electricity. But lightning is not electricity. It's electrostatic. It's dielectric. And it operates completely different. Electricity has surges. It has frequencies, right? 60 hertz, whatever hertz. X, uh, X uh, voltage, X amperage. That's electricity. Electrostatics or lightning does not surge, okay? The stuff cannot kick in. The equipment is already destroyed in zero time. The equipment, let me repeat that because it's so very important. The equipment is destroyed in zero time. And this is no different than a scalar wave, you know? A scalar wave has no waves at all. It is not measured in frequencies per second, but volts per second. Okay, look up scalar waves. This is what Tesla knew about. This is why it uh, is a famous uh, joke or actually despair amongst ham radio operators that uh, if a lightning storm starts to kick in, you, you've only got one option. Unhook all your crap because the best lightning equipment arresters or surge protectors won't work. And ham radio operators don't know why because they think like every other doofus out there, that lightning is electrical. But lightning is not electrical. It is dielectric. It is electrostatics. Extremely, extremely powerful electrostatics, but really, really powerful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I meant to make this video months ago, and I forgot to do it. And goodbye. If you like these videos, you always click the link below. Let me know how I can help you. I'm going to continue studying until about 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I'm going to go to bed. I need to get to bed earlier.